Hello, good morning, happy Monday, welcome. Wait, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. I forgot, I started this vlog a day later than I normally do. But welcome to a new week in my life, week in our life, Leif. It's 8 a.m. We are about to shoot some photos for a brand. I'm in this little, you can't really see it. I'm in this tennis outfit and we're meeting up with Beth. She has a tennis racket for me because we are shooting at a tennis court, which I'm not a poser, okay? I play pickleball every day, not every day a lot of days and we're starting to play tennis and i was like you gotta shoot a tennis set at a tennis court wow it's bright we're on set using our digital camera potentially for the first time literally like this year there was no one here when we got here but then as we started walking up some people got here this side's pretty bright so we'll see how they turn out but it'll work out call me Ver verena <laughs> call me serena williams coming at you some breakfast um here's a better look i don't know maybe you actually already got a good look of it but here's the set it's really cute here's the back it's so comfy and fits so well i'm making some toast with this nine grain sourdough bread that i got at the farmer's market this weekend baked by old town baking company it's so delicious i also love how small the pieces of bread are they're not like super huge but they're filling since it is the beginning of a new week we need to go grocery shopping. I was gonna make a chai, but we don't have any milk. So not gonna do that. I am putting some honey on one piece of toast and doing my little almond butter concoction on the other one. Okay, I'm gonna do some cacao nibs on the almond butter toast as well as some hemp seeds. And after listening to this week's podcast, which came out today, I wanna put some flaxseed on here, but I don't even have flaxseed. I need to go get some because it's really great for you in the mornings as Beth told us about her healthy morning routine. So along with my new plates, which are so cute, and I know it sounds dumb, but it like makes me excited to eat when all of my just dishes are like clean and aesthetically pleasing. And this is also making me very happy. So I got these new glasses like I showed you in the last vlog at the end of the vlog. And I also ordered these glass straws from Amazon. I'm just really, I'm really vibing with this. This makes me excited to like make juices and smoothies and even just ice water because it just looks so beautiful. I know some people think that's silly, but to me, those little things just bring me joy. Okay, I changed Here's as you can deal. see. Here's the deal. We are very conflicted right now. We're having a lot of thoughts. We are considering moving. I have not talked about this at all on social media. And the reason I haven't talked about it is because we've been really unsure about where we wanna move, if we even wanna move. There are so many reasons why we want to move and a lot of reasons why we don't wanna move. We actually, love our life in LA and we feel like it's really comfortable and it's very convenient for a lot of reasons. Me and Chelsea live close, Beth lives close to us, but a lot of things are changing in our life and other people's lives. Nothing like huge that's a secret or anything. In the Just world. In the world. I feel like a lot of people are wanting to move out of LA. You guys have probably seen like Kristen and Marcus are thinking about moving. They're some of our absolute best friends and we're kind of trying to look into the future. We currently rent our house and our next goal was to buy a house, but we're not even ready to do that for a lot of different reasons. One, because we don't even know where we wanna be. We don't know where we would want to buy a house. We're not ready to just like go buy our dream home right now or buy a house that basically in California because and all of the houses- Don't you have to put like at least a thousand dollars down? <laughs> that's FD. too much. Any home that we are interested in in California in an area that we like is at least a million dollars. There's, that's just how it is. We've seen places for like 650,000 or 700,000, but they are like <laughs> fixer uppers, like major fixer uppers where it's like, you'd have to redo the entire thing. Then obviously you have to put hundreds of thousands of dollars into renovating. And at that point it's like, well, then you're to a million dollars anyway. So basically the bare, like the minimum price of homes here that we're interested in, again, in like areas that we want to live in kind of by the coast, at least a million dollars. Honestly, most of them are like $2 million or more. So especially because we don't even know if we want to live here, like, long term we're not gonna buy a super expensive home like that there's a lot going on there's a lot uh, unfortunately a lot of our life kind of that depends on other people but we've now 
woven ourselves into, you know, I do the podcast with Chelsea, so we have to be by each other or we prefer to be by each other. Beth comes over every day and we're looking in Orange County right now. We are in Orange County. We just drove down here and we are going to look at a few apartments and see what we think. Another thing that happened recently was our landlord randomly emailed us and said she was going to sell the house and we were like, okay. And she was like, I'm selling it next week. And we were like, and then that same day she was like, never mind, I'm not going to sell it. We were going through a whirlwind of emotions and now we're on a month to month lease and we have no idea if like next month she's just gonna be like, I'm selling it. So we feel like we should probably maybe leave because we don't want that to happen. We're so conflicted. There are so many different reasons why different things make sense. We love Orange County. We've always said we kind of want to end up here, but we kind of anticipated buying a house next and not renting again. And so we're like going to these uh, apartments, which are, I don't want to say they're downgrades because they're really nice apartments, but they're not like homes. They're apartments. Some of them are, you know, kind of more of a homey vibe. They have a little backyard and stuff, but they're basically not a, they're not a single family home. Yeah. It's not a single family home. It's not like where we live right now, which is like our own house. We have a big garage. We have a backyard. We have a lot of space, but we're thinking, you know, you make sacrifices. We'll spend less money yes. every month so we can save more money every month. And by the time we have our money in the right places, right accounts, then we'll have more money than we would have had. Yeah. And that's the whole, that's another whole reason why we're considering moving is because as you know, life in LA is not what it once was. We moved there to be close to the podcast studio for all these different reasons. And now we don't ever really go to the podcast studio because it's closed. Like there's a lot of different things that we're not really getting in LA and we're paying a lot of money to live there. And if we move here, we'll be saving a ton of money. People are probably wondering what the heck that is. It's a glass straw. It's a straw that was the straw that was in this cup because I brought this on our drive. Anyway, I was telling Leif I haven't wanted to talk about this publicly because we're so con conflicted and confused. There's so many different little moving parts in our life that like, I don't know, would be affected if we moved. And I didn't want to just like say that because then I feel like people start interjecting with their opinions but as long as you just tune everything out and you obviously i know you guys like want our best interest you don't really probably care even where we live like you're just happy if we're happy which is great if like we're confident in our decisions then it doesn't really matter what other people think so basically what i'm trying to say is i have less of a problem telling you guys like oh we're you know thinking about moving here here's the reasons why because i was scared that people's opinions would make me more confused but now i'm like but outside opinions don't really matter like we just need to figure it out and trust that everything will work out how it's supposed to. So because of that, I don't really mind telling you guys and opening up about that. And you guys are in for a ride with us. I'll keep you guys updated, obviously, in the vlogs, and we'll see what happens. Anyway, got a blast. We are home from Orange County, and we toured two apartments. One of them we really liked. One of them we did not like that much. There was one that pretty much everything about it there was, there was a few little things, always pros and cons, but it was really pretty. It had pretty decent light. I'll put in a few like clips or maybe one clip of the kitchen that I took. It had a little backyard area and like a patio area. It was in a really cute little neighborhood. So we really liked that one. Obviously it's cheaper than what we pay now, which is good. The other one, it didn't really speak to me. When we went in there, the lighting, it was kind of like a dark, just apartment in general. There wasn't a ton of natural light. Just wasn't really feeling it. The location, the outside of it, I didn't really love. That one we are thinking about, so conflicted. Like, I feel like you guys are just watching. Leif and I have this like mental breakdown, mental battle with ourselves. I just love this house so much. Like, as I just look around, even when I've been vlogging recently, I'm just like, I don't want to move. I love this house. But even if our landlord decided to sell it. We actually have considered buying it in the past because we just love it so much. But I don't even know now if she did end up selling it, if we would buy it, just because like I've mentioned, we don't know if we want to be in LA for that much longer. So it's just, it's a mess. It's a lot. So stay tuned for our decisions, but we really need to think things over. We're not going to rush into like applying for that apartment right away. We just want to think on it a little bit more, kind of weigh our options. Unfortunately, the market here, I feel like maybe just everywhere it's like this, everywhere we've tried to move so far, whether it was Orange County or LA, 
the market moves so quickly. So you will see something on whether it's Zillow or wherever you're finding, you know, your housing options within like the day it's posted. I feel like you have to go, you know, tour it, apply and then get accepted like right then because things just move so quickly. Even when we went to tour that place, there were a bunch of people that were touring it that day. And so it's like, if we potentially wait a few days, then it could very well already be gone. So it's it's hard when you're in this weird spot, this weird limbo stage. We'll see what happens. But on the bright side, I got my Crate and Barrel stuff. So Beth went and picked it up for me earlier today. This is the little set of the white silicone utensils. So I think those are gonna look, oh, those are gonna look super cute. I need to unpackage them. I have not seen this in person yet. Here is the little fruit bowl, super cute. It's actually kind of smaller than I was expecting. I didn't measure it, so I wasn't really positive, but that's really cute. Do you like it? Yeah. Let's put some fruit in it. Okay, let's, let's put some fruit in it. Our kitchen's kind of a mess right now because we're trying to figure out what to do with our the old dishes that we have because we don't want to keep everything because otherwise our cabinets would be super full. Here's the current situation. Um, here's our new stuff. As you can see, it's very, very minimal, pretty, and then boom, boom, we got some craziness up there. Boom, 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 boom. If you're not on TikTok, you will not understand. What, like that or something? Sure, I mean, the bananas are a little bit big. Those are like massive they bananas. They are huge. They're huge. Actually. I feel like that's not normal. Cute. Now I need to put the glass mugs away. Just some potatoes chilling. That potato is not well. These are the glass straws, and as you can see, they come with a little cleaner thing too. Need to unpackage those and wash them. Welcome to the ceremony of replacing these with these. Now I'll still keep these for sure. Added a few of my wooden ones too. Currently making some dinner. I'm making vegetable fried rice and orange chicken from Trader Joe's. So we're making the rice, great lighting. The orange chicken is in the oven currently. Yeah, simple, easy dinner. And guess what's on tonight? The Bachelorette, I'm so excited. I have literally been looking forward to this season even though I don't even know if it's gonna be a good season and it seems like there's a lot of random weird things happening with it, but I have been looking for some sense of normalcy during this year and I feel like even though The Bachelorette is like the way they filmed it is probably gonna be kind of weird because of coronavirus like it's they're not traveling or anything like that I still feel like getting like Bachelorette content is something that's gonna give me back just like a little sense of normalcy I'm not really a huge TV watcher like I watch Dance Moms I'm on season 5 um, and I will, I'll watch that before bed but other than that I like really don't watch TV. Reality TV is definitely just like my guilty pleasure and I think it's so fun and entertaining to watch. So I'm excited for the premiere tonight. Leif might be going to play pickleball actually. So I'm going to be on my own. Chelsea was going to come over and watch it, but I do not think she's coming over anymore. So I'm just having a date night with myself. Here she is. Bon appetit. I'm about to head to Chelsea's. We are recording a video for her YouTube channel. We're gonna try and make a cake. Stay tuned. Our last time we tried to do this, it was a complete failure. But guess what? We got an exciting package in the mail today. It is a new film camera. We got a medium format film camera. So Leif has done a bunch of research on it. This is more of his baby than it is mine, but wow. we are so excited to start shooting with this. Got it off of eBay from Japan. Look at this. Look at this baby. It's the Mamiya 645 Super. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Got a lens for it right here. That's the 55. This 55. is the 85. Wow. Well, I'm excited to test it out. Same. Did you get any film? No, I didn't think it would come this fast. Like, yeah. I ordered it like three days ago. It came so fast. We need to go get film and then shoot on it. Cannot Let's wait to see it. how the photos turn out. 
Today's kind of becoming a randomly very busy day. It's 11 a.m. I just got ready for the day, by the way, and <laughs> I'm wearing this Revolve set. I'll show you guys in the mirror. Look at this massive pile. This is needs to go out to the recycling bin. It's all from packages, and then I have more package stuff right here that I need to clean up. Um, but let me show you guys my outfit. It's this little set. It is from Revolve. It says, I don't know if you can really see the embroidery right here, but it says, this too shall pass. And it has this little cute flower. It has the matching shorts. It has been so hot this week again. Someone recently on my vlogs was like, I feel like JC's like a weather lady. <laughs> on the vlogs, I'm always like, okay guys, today the temperature is this. Um, but it got really hot again in LA this week. So last week was super nice weather. Honestly, it felt like fall. It was like chilly every morning and now it's hot again. Welcome to Chelsea's Kitchen. We're currently making a vegan. Why does yours look like so much better quality and like better coloring than mine? Fix my camera. We're making a vegan pumpkin cake with vegan cream cheese frosting. We're filming right now for Chelsea's YouTube channel. A little vlogception, if you will. So go check that out on her channel when, I don't know if this is gonna be up by the time. What's up? But we just made this batter and it smells really delicious. Did you add the pumpkin yet? No. We're adding pumpkin puree and we'll show you the final product. The cake is complete and you know, it could have been better, it could have been worse. We just tried tried some. Look at the fork that Chelsea gave me to eat with. Love it. <laughs> Here's the cake. You know, when a cut, when a slice is out of it, it looks cuter than mm -hmm. when it didn't, but we didn't really know how to decorate it and the frosting was not really, we didn't do a good job with the frosting. Something went wrong. We followed the directions, but something was just not right with it. What is this? Pumpkin spice cake? Pumpkin spice. It's a pumpkin. Vegan. Vegan pumpkin spice cake. And I'm literally eating this as my lunch right now because I'm starving. I need to go get some food. We changed and well you didn't change I changed I was shooting something and we are now at this park and we can see the Hollywood sign from here look at this stunning view the weather is beautiful look at this the Sun is about to set and we're having a great time we're gonna test out our new film camera Leif went and got some film while Chelsea and I were recording some podcast ads earlier so we're gonna give it a whirl here's the thing we're so hungry we can't enjoy this moment. We can't enjoy this beautiful view and this weather because we're so hungry. We haven't really eaten much today. And so we my were stomach's trying- growling. My stomach is growling so much. And if you took so my Clean Eating 101 course, you would know that hunger signs are have a grumbling stomach and you're feeling you can't focus, then you're hungry. If you're too hungry, you start to get a headache, you start to have a stomach ache, feel nauseous. That's when you're too hungry, you've gone too far. And we're too hungry, we've gone too far. Yeah. And not actually, purpose, I'm I'm the first been... one. I'm the irritability part. I'm at that stage where I'm, I'm like, at the nausea, like not good stage. We just haven't been smart about our timing. food choices today or our timing. And honestly, I don't even know if this vlog will be a good representation of my day today because I feel like I have not been <laughs> this stressed in a very long time actually. Today has been like really a stressful kind of crazy day. Um, my dad's coming into town tonight. I had so much stuff to shoot. Our Us shooting Chelsea's YouTube video took like literally three or literally four, hours, four hours. And which I wasn't expecting. So today's just been like <laughs> a really long day. And then we just were like, oh, let's go to the park, have fun. And then the camera is not working. The film camera that we just bought, Leif like, he went to take a photo, the screen went black. It won't come back. He had to like unload the film trying to look it up can't figure out what the heck is going on with it so that didn't work and we're so hungry and we're kind of far away from stuff now to where we're just like not feeling it you know but we gotta count our blessings and and there are none <laughs> there are lots of things to be grateful for the sun is setting right now and it looks so beautiful the universe is against us today we were trying to place an order at Takaya, which is like a mexican place Chelsea in the background just in the shadows. <laughs> we tried to place an order and it wasn't working. I thought you were mapped. I'm not mapped. Why? You were, just barely. I was never mapped, it never came Chelsea, back. you're the one who has it mapped. Sorry. Basically we have the worst service. Everything's going wrong right now, so. Couldn't place an order, called, dropped the call. Chelsea's phone was glitching. It's just like one of those days, you know what I mean? Forgot to film the burritos. The burritos in the trash. We ate them so fast and I was in such a such a bad place <laughs> mentally that I couldn't even get the camera out. It really hit the spot. <laughs> and you know, we tried to order a cake today. Just more proof that today is not it. We ordered a cake from Whole Foods. 
Um, we had an inspiration photo. We're like, okay, this is the vibe we want. We want a five million, you know, a cake that says five million on it because we just hit five million downloads on our podcast, which is so exciting. We we did one for one million like last year. So we're like, let's do a five million cake. That's like a big milestone. We made the mistake of having them write five million at Whole Foods, which is the same mistake we made last year. Five million. That's maybe. what we got in maroon. We did not ask for maroon. Fire million. And you know, <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> This is not. It's not cute and it's not ugly. It's like Our a aesthetic. chevron skirt. It's not ugly enough yeah. to be cute and it's not cute enough to be cute. So. Cute enough to be cute. Wow, you just blew my mind. Great and <laughs> great analogy, honestly. And that's not really what we had in mind. And that's not what we said. <laughs> that was a roller coaster. That was a roller coaster of emotions. That we just episode recorded. was one of our most random, most eclectic. <laughs> That episode. was a really funny, weird episode that we just recorded. We were doing like a mix of trivia. We're doing like millennial trivia questions and just general trivia questions. We were answering them. And then we also did a, a segment at the end for fall favorites. So we were telling all of our favorite like products and things for the fall time. And we also talked about how people need to stop hating on basic girls yes. and getting mad at them for liking basic things. And we went on a rant about that. We went on a rant about horses. We went on a <laughs> rant about pumpkin spice lattes. It was a whole shebang. This was a whole, like when we got done with the episode, well, literally just barely, we're like, what, what was that even about? I think it might be one of our like most just fun what's the word I'm looking for spontaneous yeah spontaneous episodes I think that was gonna be a good one so make sure yeah. you check it out it'll be up on Tuesday so in just a few days um until then I'm literally talking that's about this. what we like, said no until then listen to last week's episode which was with Beth Beth and next week episode which will be spooky stories we got lots of good podcast stuff coming up guys On my computer, as you can probably see, I actually just washed off, or not washed, cleaned my computer screen and the keyboard, and it feels like a new, a brand new computer. It's so nice. Um, I need to clean like the outside of it because it's kind of actually has like fingerprints on and stuff on it, but it feels really good. I ordered this stuff from Amazon just to clean it off with. Actually, I'll show it to you guys in case you need to clean up your laptop as well. Here is the stuff. Calyptus is the brand. I got it from Amazon. And it is a natural screen cleaner, so it's plant-based, non-toxic, we love that. And it came with this little like microfiber towel thing. And yeah, I just cleaned the screen and the keyboard and then I got one of those little like air compressor can things where you like push it and air comes out and it kind of gets in the little like nooks and crannies where there's dust. So yeah, my laptop's feeling super clean and nice, which is awesome. I had a call a little bit earlier with a brand, just got done with that. I've been just getting some more work stuff done on the computer and I actually have a call in 20 minutes. We have our quarter three meeting for our podcast, just via Zoom with our producer and basically management team for our podcast. So we're gonna go over just like analytics and all that stuff, how everything's going, merch, which has been you know, a process. And we're trying to just be super transparent with you guys about the merch process on our Instagram stories and on my YouTube channel and everything. Like we're giving you guys updates. And the current update is that we've been getting samples in from the manufacturers and stuff. Basically, we're super, we've been really picky about the colors of the merch. This isn't even giving anything away because obviously you guys know it's gonna be pink and blue. What other colors would it be when I'm telling you that we are very specific about colors and there's specific shades and fabrics that we want it's just starting to take months at this point and you know we didn't want to be those people that are like big things come in big things around the corner but we wanted you guys to know where we were working on merch and now we're just like this is becoming a longer process than we anticipated i do think it's close just know that we're not settling so it will be really cute and it's fun and it'll be very comfy and we're excited so stay tuned for that whole journey. Leif is currently at the camera store because as you guys saw yesterday, the film camera was not working. He messaged the guy that he bought it from on eBay 
in Japan and the guy has been trying to help out, but Leif decided to take it to a camera store today to see if they could help him in person, obviously. That's a bummer. We genuinely obviously thought it would totally work. We were so excited to shoot with it, but if it doesn't work, we're gonna have to send it back and get a different one. Guess what time it is. It's time to organize the spice drawer. Our spices, if you saw the last vlog, were not organized in any form or fashion. It was super annoying to get them and use them every day. So. Today, we're changing that. So I, I ordered this from Amazon. It's a spice drawer liner. I also ordered all of these little glass spice jars. And then they have, I hope, I think they have like a little thing on top that you can put on to label them all um, so that everything's just like uniform and clean. Because right now, all of our spices are like different sizes and, you know, different brands, which is fine. But I think it might be easier if everything is just the same size in the drawer. Beth is, help, I almost said Beth is my assistant today. I am. And every day. <laughs> and we're getting them organized. Here's all the different spices we got going on. See, they're all different sizes. final product look how beautiful and organized this all is they had some labels already that um they're just like clear with black text as you can see so we just did that on most of them and then on these ones because they didn't have like a pumpkin spice option or a pumpkin pie spice option i just wrote it on some clear ones that they had and then i just kept the everything but the bagel in its normal thing because obviously they don't have one that says everything but the bagel seasoning and also it's a cute package so i was like yeah it works and then we just put our uh, vanilla extract and almond extract in here because why not and it looks so nice and organized now when i go to cook i'm just gonna open this up and that's what I'm gonna see instead of that cabinet full of just random spices everywhere. So I'm so happy. Today has turned into a full on kitchen makeover organization cleaning day. Was not even planning on doing this really today, but we've kind of been talking about it recently now that obviously we've gotten all of our new like dishes and stuff. Organize the spice drawer. We're trying to just get things organized, get rid of stuff we don't need. We have a bunch of random as you can see right here, like supplements, protein powder. We've gotten a lot of stuff sent in the mail to try out from different brands and stuff. We're just trying to get rid of the stuff that we don't like, donate some stuff that we have that we're not gonna be using anymore. I was not really planning on like doing a full blown cleanup, but we started to clean out stuff. And then I'm like, if we're kind of gonna have to do it, we might as well just go for it and actually clean stuff out. So we are getting rid of some different dishes that we had. Beth is organizing right now, putting stuff in boxes that we're getting rid of. Leif is currently going through all these different utensils and things that we have that we don't use that often. Another thing I got from Crate and Barrel that I actually put in an order for online before I even ordered the other stuff. These little contraptions to hold like fruit and stuff just to organize things. I might even put like berries in some of these and put them in the fridge. You know, the goal is for everything to have a home. We're not at that point yet, but hopefully we can get there one day. I know that's like a huge theme in the book, The Life Ti the Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up, is like every single thing in your house should have a home, it should have a place. And that's what I'm striving for, for sure. I just like, and I forget that I own stuff because it'll be like shoved in the back of a cabinet and then I see it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I would have used that if I knew about it. So I'm trying to have everything have a home so that I know where it is and I can actually utilize the things that I do have. <coughs> Good morning. It is a new day and we are at the tennis courts again. We're actually gonna play some tennis today. Got our rackets, my dad brought us. Really fancy, it's hot. Every time I wake up, I'm freezing. I put on a jacket and then it's burning hot. Here's your weather report for today in LA. Actually, I don't have my phone, so I don't know what the temperature is, but I would say it's like 80 something. Tennis is hard. It's so different than pickleball. Here's, here's my current serve. Djokovic, if you're watching this, Nadal, if you're watching this, please don't judge me, I just started playing. Then I'm like lunging for it. Horrible now that I'm on camera. 
no joke in the game I hit like almost every single one in and I was killing it so I was like you know let's vlog this then of course when the vlog the camera comes on I choke let's let I them choked. see my horrible serve okay here is Leif's serve okay okay see, it went over and then it hit the pole and already came back okay was it in? No. Hey, the, the form looks pretty decent. Eh, it's so frustrating. I just want to come here for like two hours and have someone coach me on a serve. We're going to go get some breakfast. Very hungry. We've got eggs, an avocado, a little salad. What happened to the eggs? I've never seen that. It's a poached egg. I'm vegan. And I also got this green juice. I just filmed a little IGTV of a breakdown of all my vlog camera equipment stuff. Just basically everything that I used to vlog. I actually just barely got this new tripod that can like raise up really high. Hard to do with one hand, but it gets really tall. It gets probably like double that height. The current little tripod that I use is this one, which is this little Manfrotto guy. Um, that's the brand, Manfrotto. But it's pretty small and I really like it because it's like easy to travel with and compact and stuff but it doesn't get super tall like this one. So this one can also be really small and compact, but then obviously you just have options as far as height goes, which is super nice. I haven't really used this yet. I got it in the mail like two days ago and I just unpackaged it and everything, but I was going through like the lens that this camera that I'm using normally comes through, comes with, and then the lens I'm using right now, my mic setup, everything. So that'll already be up probably by the time you guys watch this video. If it's not, it's coming really soon to my Instagram. I decided to do it on IGTV because I felt like that was a good place for it to be where I can like link all the stuff and it's not gonna go away like stories. Go check it out. I just got this Aritzia hoodie in the mail and I could not be more excited. It's like the boyfriend cozy hoodie and let me tell you, it's very cozy. It's so, so, I don't know what other word besides cozy. It's really, really comfortable and soft and it's just like the perfect oversized fit. It's a weird sizing situation on Aritzia. It's like zero to four, it's like zero, one, Maybe even just one, two, three, or four. I got a size two. It's already oversized, but I wanted it a little bit extra oversized. So anyway, I'm feeling comfy. Leif is going to, we never gave them an update on the camera. He's taking the camera to the second place. He went to a camera store already. Didn't work out. So we're taking it, or he's taking it to kind of like a random guy. Is it his house or like a shop? It's in his house. Anyway, we're gonna see if we can get it looked at and hopefully fixed because we really want to use it. All right. Sending this baby back to Japan. The guy I took it to, he's really old school. He mostly works on like mechanical, older like film cameras. Super cool guy. He was saying I should probably just send it back. One of the parts doesn't work. He was saying I could send it off to someone who probably has Mamiya parts and they could probably fix it, but. Just better to get it a different way. Yeah, I don't want to be waiting for a couple weeks and have to pay for the service and yeah. stuff. If I can get a return and then just get a working one. Wanted to update you guys on the apartment moving situation. We're not going to move into either of those apartments that we went and looked at. We just felt like every place we've moved so far, we have felt like so right about it. We walk into the place and we're like, Yes, this is it. That's how we felt about this house. That's how we felt about our last, you know, apartments that we've lived in. And we've loved everywhere we've lived. For me, at least, when I really stopped to think about how I felt in those apartments, I just didn't feel totally sold on either of them. The other one that we actually really did like and think was like really pretty in a great location, it's just, I didn't feel so sold on it where I was like super excited about it. And I'm kind of just trying to go off of my gut reaction. And when we came home, we're like, we obviously want to come home and like think about it and talk about it and everything. We just didn't feel like that was it right now. We feel like it would be kind of uprooting our whole life to move to Orange County when Chelsea would still be in LA at that point. Beth lives in LA and it's like, it just doesn't maybe make sense at this exact moment and that could change at any time. And we're trying just to not live with the fear that like our landlord's going to sell the house because living with that anxiety is not fun. So we want to be aware that that could happen, but also not be, you know, having anxiety about it because it's kind of useless to worry about something until it's actually happening. But then we feel like if it does happen, 
then, you know, we obviously have to move at that point and we'll just make it work. Anyway, we're continuing to look. Again, we've even considered moving out of California, but that also doesn't really excite us a ton because like we've mentioned, our whole life is here. The podcast, everything, we could do it remotely for sure. We could make it work, but what we have right now is very convenient work-wise. So that's kind of the update there. And this week has been honestly draining and kind of a whirlwind because we were so back and forth about it. We were talking about it, thinking about it, and just trying to, you know, go with what we feel is right for us. And we know that God has a plan for us. Everything will work out exactly how it's supposed to. I think that's been the case with every single place we have moved so far and that we've been so far. Sometimes it, even moving to LA, we didn't really want to at first because we're like, LA is not really our vibe. And then once we've lived here, this has been the place that we have both grown the absolute most. We've made some of the best friends of our life and had some of the just best experiences ever. And I'm so grateful that we listened to our gut and we moved here. And I know it'll all be good and it'll all, all work out and you guys get to come along for that journey. So again, I don't know if next month we'll be like, okay, we're thinking about moving again. Like it's truly so up in the air. So stay updated on the vlogs. This is where I'll be sharing the most about it. I feel weirdly more comfortable on YouTube or my podcast talking about things like this than on my Instagram. I have no idea why, but I feel like when you guys who watch my vlogs get the full picture of what's happening, it probably makes a lot more sense than just if I was to, you know, like randomly talk about this on an Instagram story. So thanks for listening to me blabber on about this. We're here for a little bit. We love our house. We hope we can stay here for a little while longer. Stay tuned. We are currently on our way to the farmer's market right now. I had the funnest, is funnest a word? I don't know, but the best night last night. Chelsea, me, Danny, and Rachel are a uh, Paris crew. We dressed up in all different colored wigs. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you definitely saw it on my story. And we went to we did like a film photo shoot, we made some TikToks, we went to Taco Bell. We were gonna watch a movie when we got back to my house, but then we were all super tired. It ended up being way later than we thought it was gonna be. So we went home, we're gonna plan a movie night for a different night, but it was the best night. It was so fun. If you wanna check it out, go to my Instagram or my TikTok. We just hadn't hung out with them in forever. We've been wanting to do something fun, so we decided why the heck not dress up and just hang out. Now it is the next morning. We're going to the farmer's market and we're probably gonna play pickleball a little bit later. Today, we're just gonna kind of have a relaxing day. So I just wanted to close out the video. Thanks for watching this week's vlog. I feel like this week was a roller coaster of lots of different stuff going on. So thanks for tuning in. And this car ride's very bumpy. So, whoa. I'm gonna end the vlog here. What? Subscribe. Oh yeah. Subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss my weekly vlogs, other fun vlogs. I did a sit down video with Chelsea. We reacted to your assumptions. If you have not watched that yet, make sure to watch that. Hit the like button if you liked it. All that good stuff. But thank you guys so much for your support and I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.